All right, we're working on our high block today. So I want, this is for week one. So I want you guys to move. pretend you have a Sharpie or a crayon and you're coloring above your head. It's even better if you have a grown up there and they have a piece of paper, get a crayon and they're gonna move it above your head. And I want you to focus on coloring the appropriate spot, bringing it down, coloring when they put it back. Go. Tag from six, week, ready for it? Yeah, it's week one. So we're in that guard stage. We just did our slide up side kick from last month. So we're in that guard stage. We're gonna take our hand, front hand, say hello hand. Lift up our chicken wing, mm -hmm. take our hand, push straight up, tiger claw, yes. Tiger claw, rip a little bit. Cause cat's paw straight out, tiger claw. You hit and rip, straight, tiger claw. Take your other hand, do a punch. But open your hand, keep the other hand up, yes, and bring it like a down. That's a rich hand without the down. I'm gonna turn it sideways, we'll take your hand, tiger, claw, bring it back, rich hand. Very nice, feet together. So what I want you to do is if your grown up has a stuffy there, you have a stuffed animal, I want you to tiger claw it. So you hit the stuffed animal and then you rip the stuffed animal gently because we love our stuffed animals, out of your grown-up's hand. So you wanna think of it this way. You wanna say tiger claw, not tiger air guitar or slappy slap, tiger claw, while keeping your hand up. I'm gonna give you 90 seconds. Next 30 seconds is a rich hand. It's kind of like a slap, a flailing of an airplane. That's weird. A bird. Flail like a bird. Oh, God. You want to take your hand, put it straight out, and then hit. You're hitting, if you look, you're hitting with this part right here. It's your ridge hand. Can you say ridge hand? Yes. So they're going to have a target out and they're going to move it. So, like speed, you have to go fast. But you want to close your eyes, open your eyes, and see where the target is. Rich in the target and then close your eyes and they'll have it at a different place. You can't just open your eyes and swing. You have to open your eyes and see if the target had moved or not.
All right, my friends, we are doing I Don't Want in Trouble today. Last month, we faced this way. This month, you're going to step back with your left foot. It's very common to do that, so we're going to have some fun with it. Remember that duck jump drill we do? Well, you're going to do that today. And when they try to poke you in the belly, you're not going to giggle. You're going to step back and put your hands up. Sound like a plan? So duck, jump, and whoop with your hands up and stepping back. We'll give you a minute. I'm going to add to that right now. So I go, I'm going to step back, twist and punch. Very nice. And front punch. Now let's face in a different direction. I'm going to Stepping back. One punch. Two punch. Well done. I know you really like to do jumping jacks. So I want you to focus on doing jumping jacks. Doing three of them. And stepping back, punch, punch. Deal? And you're gonna do that. Facing the camera, away, window, and wall. Go. For our tiger form, week two, we need to be down on our knee. So remember, week one ends with a cat's paw. We're in that guard stance from that side of sidekick. We do a backwards, we do a palm strike, and then we take it down to our knee, which we've done in our iron line trouble. But we're getting stronger. So you take a diamond with your hands. You go towards the leg that's down and you put it on the ground, and you pick up your leg. Because you're no. Maybe yes, push out for a side kick. Bring it all the way back. Put it down, and ready, stand all the way up. Boom. So what I want you to do for the next 90 seconds is two things. Round one will be one drill, and then another 90 seconds will be round two. Round one. You're going to have your knee down and your grown-up is going to put down three different colors of paper and they're going to say like blue and you have to put your diamond on the blue square and pick up your knee and then go back and they'll say yellow and you put your hands on the yellow square and pick your knee up and go back. They may even mix some around so you have to be focused that you're putting your hands on the correct color.
for round two. Welcome to round two. We're going to stay in with our hands on the ground and have our knee up. And you're almost going to walk at you with the pillow and you're going to put your foot out wherever that pull up pillow is. Boom, boom, boom. And then get up. You can do one and only one before putting your foot down. Foot, foot down. Or you can do you can do a pyramid, like one, put your foot down. They come at you twice. You go double, double, two different directions. Put your foot down. Do it to three. I want you to have fun, but what I, mostly I want you to focus on pushing into the earth, pushing out with your leg, and putting it down so we can stand right up quickly in round three. Not round three, week three. 90 seconds. Two. It has begun. For I don't want to trouble for the week two. I want to step back like we practice, but this time take it down to your knee. Yeah. We trained our brain. We know how to do it on the other side. We need to know how to do the for our form. And now we're going to do it with that warrior face. I don't want trouble. Take a knee. Yes. Add those punches back in. One, two, three. And stand all the way up. Self high five. Well done. What you're going to do with your groom this time is they're going to try to shark attack you. Shark attack. And when they step in and shark attack, you're instinctively with that speed from last month. So you're focusing on that shark attack. Not their jellyfishes or trying to duck you on the head. When they shark, you're going to step back and drop that knee. Punch, punch, punch. Give you 90 seconds. Go.
Okay, at least we're on week three. We're gonna put it all together. So the tiger form six, part baloney, guard stance, cat tiger claw, turn, ridge, hand, take a knee, punch, diamond, towards our leg that's down, hook up our leg, side kick, side kick, put it down, and go, aya. Let's do it again from a different direction. Tiger form six, B, guard stance. together. All right, athletes, we're on week three, or I don't want any trouble. Okay, step back really fast. We dropped and did those knees. Now, equally as fast, you have to get up, get up, get up, and do our one step, two step. So before we even do that, I want you to practice. Over, out, over, like that, go to the bathroom, out. And you're gonna do that the length of your kitchen, your living room, whatever you're doing your training. Over, out, over, out. And whenever your grown up says marshmallow, you have to fall down on the ground, roll around, and then get back up. So I'm gonna give you two minutes, because this, with our hands up, we have to focus. I'm not just doing the grapevine. We have to then focus on following when we say marshmallow. There's a lot to focus on. So now, two minutes, practice your over. You're gonna do that guard with those hands up, falling down, rolling around when you hear marshmallow. Here's that two claps. Let's put it all together. Follow along. I don't like trouble. Guard stance. Big knee. One, two. Back punch, front punch. Back punch again. Guard stance. One step, two step. I got hands are up, eyes are on the target. Stay in different directions. Do it again. I don't like trouble. Guard stance. One, two, three. Guard. One, two. I got arms. We are awesome. Feet together. Perk Dusty. Thank you for coming to class today. I love you. Next time we'll meet screen to screen is for our stripe test review video. Stay strong, keep smiling, and be kind. Bye. <laughs>